Have you ever wondered how a drone can navigate as 3D things autonomously and capture beautiful videos? How it can catch a Pokemon as if they were really there with augmented reality? How autonomous vehicles perceive the temporal and geometric information from the environment? How it can turn a shaky video like this and stitch them into amazing panorama? The first step of all these applications is to ask, what are good features to track? Here are several local patches, and the same patches in the next frame. We can only reliably estimate the motion for the third one, a corner. But how do we quantify this? Here we have a reference patch at the center, and the patch translated 3 pixels horizontally and 4 pixels vertically. Using some square difference, we can quantify how the appearance change under a specific displacement vector. Since we don't know the true displacement vector ahead of time, we compute the sum squares difference for all possible displacements. This is called an autocorrelation function. We can identify good features to track when we see a strong minimum, indicating that it can be well localized. But it's expensive to compute this at every pixel location in an image. Fortunately, when the displacement vectors are small, we can approximate the first term using Tyler expansion. Oh, sorry, not this Tyler. Tyler expansion of a function can be expressed as the sum of derivative terms at a single point. Here, the higher order terms become negligible because we assume a small displacement u. Applying Tyler expansion to the 2D image signal leads to this expression. Plugging this term back to the autocorrelation function, we get this simplified equation. Now let's expand the quadratic and move the displacement vector u and v out of the summation over a local window. This allows us to write the quadratic equation with matrix representation. We call this matrix second moment matrix or structural tensor. One way to understand the quadratic equation is to visualize the shape of the horizontal slices. For smooth regions, we see a large circular shape because the arrow goes up very slowly. For edges, we see a elongate ellipsoid along the edge direction. For corners, we see a small circle because the arrow goes up very rapidly for all possible displacement vectors. We can gain more intuition by looking at a special case where image gradients are either horizontal or vertical. Here is the quadratic equation, assuming the constant is 1. We recognize that this is the equation of an ellipsoid with a major and a minor axis. For a general 2x2 matrix, we can factorize it using eigen decomposition. Like the diagonal cases, we have directions corresponding to the fastest and the slowest changes. So smooth regions have two small eigenvalues. Edges have one large eigenvalue and a small one, indicating that the displacements along the edge direction are not easy to localize. This means that we can find corners in an image by finding regions with large smallest eigenvalue of the second moment metric. We are now ready to develop a method to detect good features for tracking. Given an input image i, we compute the x derivative and y derivative using gradient filters, and compute the required terms for every pixel. The summation here sums the value over a local window. Instead of using a constant weight, in practice we put a higher weight at the center. This can be implemented by a Gaussian filter. With all these values at every pixel, we can compute the largest and the smallest eigenvalues of the second moment matrix. We are particularly interested in the smallest eigenvalues. Thresholding the values, we identify the regions with high corner scores. But we got a lot of redundant detection results. We can fix this by applying the maximum suppression, i.e. keep the detections only when the value is the maximum within a local window and suppress the rest. This is the Shi Tomashi corner detection algorithm. The criterion is the smallest eigenvalues. But computing the exact eigenvalues is expensive because it requires the computation of a square root. Harris Stefan's corner detection algorithms suggest an alternative by just using the determine and the trace. This criterion provides a good approximation while being more efficient to compute. The feature detection algorithm can still detect the same corner under image rotation. While the orientation of the ellipsoid changes, the shape remains the same. Corner detection is invariant to intensity shifts because only image gradients are used, but it's only partially invariant to intensity scaling. Corner detection, however, is not invariant to scaling. The same local regions on a different scale may no longer be a corner. Thanks for your attention, and I'll see you next time.